refers to the 12th episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the 2023 GCE Science Paper 2, which is Chemistry. And if you're just new to this channel, please consider liking and subscribing so that each time that I upload a video, you get the notification button. You can also comment to indicate that you are finding this video helpful or suggest the ways we can improve uh, the content. And if you haven't seen the other episode, go to our YouTube channel, you'll find the playlist that is dedicated to the solutions to these questions. Question B8 leads, greenhouse gases are given greenhouse factor values. The greenhouse effect of a gas increases within the factor value. The following table, 8.1, gives information on the four different gases. So we have carbon dioxide, methane, denitrogen oxide, carbon trichlorofluoride. Then we have the greenhouse effect factor, or the greenhouse factor increasing as we go down. Then percentage of gas in the atmosphere reducing as we go down because this power is becoming more negative and more negative. Question M, identify the gas which has the greatest effect on the environment. Give a reason for your answer. So the key here is the greenhouse effect gas increases with the factor value. So we need to look for the greenhouse gas with the biggest factor value which is this one which is carbon trichlorofluoride. So it's carbon tri fluoride. This is because it has the biggest green house factor. That's it, the answer. Once you do that, you are good to go. Question B. Why is an increase in the percentage of methane more widening than the same percentage increase of carbon dioxide? So again, we need to look at the greenhouse factor. So you notice that carbon dioxide as one, this one has 30. So a small increase in methane means a more increase in the damage because it has a higher greenhouse factor. So you see in those lines that we need to think. So question B, we can put it in this way. This is because greenhouse factor of methane is third times higher than that of carbon dioxide. Also, carbon dioxide is absorbed during photosynthesis. by plants. Thus, even if there is an increase in carbon dioxide, because there is recycling by plants, it keeps on reducing. But uh, methane is not necessarily being absorbed by um, the plants. And a small increase means a large impact because of uh, the factor is larger than that of uh, carbon dioxide. Then question C. What other environmental problem besides its action as greenhouse gas is caused by carbon trichlorofluoride? So, the other impact is it also it also contributes to the depletion of ozone layer. It, how does it happen? It releases chlorine when 
it is broken down by solar radiation. That's, that's how it contributes to depletion of ozone layer. So if you can put it in that way, you are good to go. You can get these six marks so easily. So thank you for joining me in this episode. Please join me in the next episode as we look at question nine in detail.